What's wrong with this test? Sure, it's short and looks simple. But is it really easy to understand? The class name tells us it's about analyzing DLL import usages in source code. The method names tell us it's about finding usages of disallowed libraries. So far, so good. So what's the problem? The issue is, we can't tell what this test is really verifying just by looking at it. We can't even decide if it should pass or fail. Why? Because we don't see the actual input data, the source code being analyzed and the config listing the disallowed libraries. Good tests don't hide relevant details. If something is essential to understand whether the test should pass or fail, it belongs in the test. Yes, that makes the method longer, but it also makes the test self-explanatory. And putting the input data right there in the code motivates us to focus on what's truly relevant. Now, in our improved version, the config is duplicated in multiple tests. Would you apply the drive principle and turn it into a member? Or keep it inline for clarity? Drop your choice in the comments.